What's going on, y'all? Y'all already know who it is up in this bitch, man. So listen, I'm excited. This just came in yesterday. But um, I was going to do this video yesterday, but let, let, me, let me tell y'all something real quick. So I was just coming in from getting some packages, which was, which was this. I'm about to show y'all. And somehow the damn door, my outside door, gets caught, you know, on my on the back of my foot, like at the ankle part, and scratches my shit up. Y'all, that shit hurt for about 15 seconds. It was like a sting because it cut a little bit of my skin at the bottom. Do you know how much that hurt? I had to put peroxide and all that shit. I was pissed the fucker off. You understand me? I was pissed the fucker off in this shit too. Shout out to So So Madame. Check out her, uh, her channel out, Fame vs. Sacrifice. But anyway, y'all, you thought, hold on. As you know, first of all, I want to I, I wanna say I appreciate y'all for going crazy on one of my last um, reaction videos, which was Brandy's Borderline video. Y'all went crazy on that. Like, I like I got, hold on. I got 110 likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Because if y'all, anybody that knows me personally knows I love Brandy, her music, everything. Crazy. Like, for real. But, and we all know, last Friday, her album, B7, came out. So, this came in yesterday. Because you know how Amazon, they got to make you wait and shit. But this, ooh, this, this bright ass light, this came in yesterday, cuz. Y'all, you really thought, hold on. You really thought, did you think that I was just going to have it digitally? Stream it digitally and not have the physical copy? Hell no. So, let's do a little opening shall we look like look at this picture y'all this is just bringing me back to older albums you can't tell me otherwise so hold on let's get a closer look all right so the angle might be a little bit of a hot mess but you can still see it so boom check this out right y'all and i just love how the font is still like from the old school shit i love that got the little sticker you know what i'm saying got one like two hits from it of course baby mama duh in love again with Daniel Caesar. Where the hell is he at? Uh, this is the back. Check it out, y'all. This just beautiful. She just looks like a beautiful black queen that she is. So let's let's open it up. Can y'all see? Hello. Take a look at it. Oh, it looks way better because that plastic is off of it. So, ooh, y'all, I'm in love. Like this, just this is just ooh. I can't wait to put this in my damn car. Y'all just don't know. But hold on. I got to take the plastic off at the top. The little stick and all that. You know what I said? So get, give me a minute. All right, y'all. So we got it open. Okay. Trying to be as delicate as I can with this, honey. Hold on. Hold on to your love. Okay. So, hello. Okay. Making sure that's on. All right. Hold on. This is a bit of a hot mess, but bear with me. All right, people. Here we go. We gonna open this up. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta open it up. Hold on. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh, y'all, look at that. Hold on, let me, let me back this thing up real quick. The, the best I can, as my grandma would say, the best I can. Y'all, look at. Th let me, let me, let me turn this up, son. Spin. Hold on. I gotta be delicate with this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all, this took me back especially that like this is just like the older disc y'all seriously this just brought me back to my childhood i could cry right now but i'm not i'm not i don't feel like the waterworks today hold on let's take a look at the picture in the back let me get that out carefully all right now and if you follow her on instagram obviously that's on her page so go ahead beautiful this let me go ahead and put this back right now. Okay, hold on. Boom, bong, bang. Y'all, this is just, this is just everything. Like, seriously. And shout out to uh, Daryl Camper Jr. and LaShawn Daniels. Rest in peace. Like, y'all, this is bringing me back, honey. Hold on. Let's check the book out. All right, y'all, let's check this out real quick. Hold on, hold on. 
Wow, look at this. And these are the songs, some of the songs, of course, to the right. But look at this beautiful queen right here to your left. Light just glaring off of my ring light over there, child. Hold on, let's go to the next page. Like we reading a book, honey. Oh my God, just just everything. And here are the, the other songs, of course. So, I mean, just wow, y'all, I'm excited. And these are the rest of the song. This is a thank you. These are all the thank yous, y'all. Isn't that sweet? Very sweet. Oh my God. And this is the um, the back of it, so. Oh, me Madre is calling, hold on. As I was saying, this is the last picture on the back, honey. I mean, just wow, wow. Sometimes all you can say is wow. Like, I feel like Flavor Flav. If you ain't got your physical copy, get it now. I'm looking at you through this thing here. Get it now. Don't just get the, the digital version, son. Get the physical, all right? Parental advisory. You can see that clear. Parental advisory, all right? This is for the grown peoples, all right? Check that out again. These are the songs, all right? This just, it's just giving me um, Never Say Never, a bit of full moon tease with just everything, like, I, especially the disc. Let me let me just show you all that again. Hold on, I gotta open this up delicately. You know what I'm saying? Woo, y'all! It just takes me back. B7. Now hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this camera around so y'all can see me, so we could talk for a minute. All right, y'all, I am back. Okay, the camera is where it should be. Again, y'all listen. Like I said, if y'all know me personally, you know I'm a Brandy fan. Like, my mama put me on when I was a kid. Which one was it first? I don't know if it was Never Say Never. I think it was Full Moon first. The album, you know, like. And I'm like, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Who is this? It all started when I was a little girl, child. Listen, y'all don't understand. If you don't know, then you bugging. And now you know. Like, seriously. So, shout out to the Starers, all of y'all. Shout out to myself. Like, seriously, y'all. Go cop it. For real. Go go ahead and cop this. It was well worth the wait. I will say that for sure. Like, and I got to give you my favorite songs. Because, you know, when you like somebody, you know, an artist and whatnot. And, you know, when they put out a project, you know you're going to have your favorite songs. You know what I'm saying? I love the album as a whole. But, you know, you know you got to have your favorite songs. So, let me just read to y'all my favorite songs on the album. For sure. Um... Number one, no tomorrow. Because let me tell y'all, um, I had posted it on my page a couple months back. The snippet of no tomorrow, I'm like, I'm playing this in the core. I'm playing this in the core. Like, I wanted to hear that right away. I, I just kept on replaying the clip of it and all of that. I'm like, yo, this got to be on the album. And it was. And I love that song. Like, seriously, you could drive when it's like cloudy outside, when it's raining. You know, or if you in a car wash and you got the little Tina Turner spinners on, you know what I'm saying? You know them big old, them big ass spinners and shit that do this and at the car wash and whatnot to get all that dirt and shit and put all the soap and just scrub a dub dub, that type of shit. Or definitely like when you driving at night, blast that shit up a little bit, not too loud. Um, like seriously, that's one of my favorites. That's number one. Number two is definitely say something. You can't tell me nothing say something like the moment it came on and she starts singing i'm like like the whole song i mean oh my god and it definitely that song it reminds me of a um a music soul child song like that sound like something he would be on y'all can't tell me otherwise y'all may think that but i just feel like that's a song that he would definitely be on like for real facts facts number three borderline when I heard this song, and I saw the video, y'all saw the right re re reaction video. If you didn't go check it out right now, go ahead right now. Um, I was just in love with the song, the message in the video, and the words as well. Like she did that, and just the runs and the notes and the high notes. I mean, it's just like when I hold on, let me explain myself. Let me get drink some water real quick. For a while now, as I've gotten older and like just learned my own way of thinking and how these artists work and how they sing certain artists you know not everybody can sing like that you know 
But anyway, the way Brandy sings with the, just the wreck, the runs and the riffs and the high notes and all that, it's just like, I just be like, damn, you know, that sounds good. Damn. Damn. And it, it just does something to me. make me feel some type of way in a good way, you know. And when I heard this song, like, it's, it's I, I've listened to it in my car, you know, just, just thinking, like I said, if you watch my reaction video, I could relate to it, you know, have my little battles with certain things, you know, it's, it's, you know, life is, is something sometimes, you know, but listening to that song, like I said, the message itself, the video and everything is just, just, just everything, just everything. Baby mama, of course, like y'all. I loved it when I first heard it, but then after, after a while, after time passed, I just kept on listening to it. And I'm like, wow, I really like this song. It's catchy. Now, mind you, I don't have kids or nothing like that yet. But, I mean, you know, just to shout out to the mamas out there, the baby mamas and everything. Because um, she said in the interview, like, we all know baby mama is like, it's like made to be something negative. And it shouldn't be, you know. Uh, you know, mothers taking care of their children, that's, that's a beautiful thing you know and it's just catchy and then i like chance the rapper's um verse in it you know when he did the, 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 the baby fat you know went all fast with it you know what i'm saying i i love that like i had it on repeat in the car driving back home to the store web you know what i'm saying loved it forget rather be now when that came out about a week or so ago before the album came out i'm like okay this is real sexy this is real sexy. You could just, I could just see the video. Like, see, she's somewhere. It's, it's like blue skies with the clouds. Nice looking guy in the video. Real sexy with each other. You know what I'm saying? That's what I see in my head. You know, somewhere like at like a beach house or something. That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? Good 4K quality, if not better. Cameras. That's what I see. All right? That's what I see. Okay? I could see that with that song. And when she went to the... Hit the high note with the baby, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do all that, but I was like, go ahead, just, just sing, just sing my heart away, you know? Like, I just felt that. It was just a real romantic, cute, sexy song, you know? And I really, wait a minute, what is it? Um, Unconditional Oceans. I like how that, the, the beat alone sounds great. And then when she said diving in the ocean, it just made me want to go out and learn how to swim, honestly. Like in some clear blue water, cause I don't want to go in no super dark, black, uh, dark blue water, cause I feel like I'm, it's gonna be a shark just come out of nowhere and get you right there. You know what I'm saying? Or a big ass piranha just come on, and bam. You know what I'm saying? You know that's what they say. Piranhas don't necessarily um, hunt humans. You know they more scared of us than we are of them. I hear that about every damn thing. Let me tell you something. If I ever go to Australia, and y'all think y'all know where I'm going with this. One, all right, real quick, let's get off topic real quick. Um, if I ever go to Australia and I see one of them big ass things, y'all already know what the hell I'm talking about. Y'all already know what I'm referencing, right? If you think, about them, oh, it's more afraid of you than you are of it, I'm not going by it any fuck away. Nope, them things is big as hell. I heard they're the size of a damn pug. You got me fucked the fucker up if you think I'm going down there. But anyway, I like, I really like that song. I like the beat. It's really watery. Cause it, I mean, it is called Unconditional Oceans. So it should sound watery anyway. You know what I'm saying? And then one more strike and I'm out. To be honest, the whole damn album, like I said. But I do have my favorites though, don't get me wrong. The whole album. And all my life, I remember hearing a snippet of that last year, I believe it was. And I'm like, yo, I need to hear this song. Like, I, it's just so many Brandy snippets that I've heard. And I'm like, please make this a full song. But I could just listen to the snippet though, honestly. That's fine with me. That is just fine. That is fine, okay, it's fine. But once again, you guys, this, this album was well worth the wait. You could tell she put all of her passion, time, creativity, and her voice of course in this album and I just loved it like I was just excited when we finally got a date I'm like and then I took my ass to Amazon and I typed it in and I pre-ordered that right the fuck away you know what I'm saying I was just I was ready I'm like cuz some of y'all were getting impatient okay and me personally I was just asking questions I'm like when is it coming out cuz I you know I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when at first. And I was just excited, like I was just ready. 
I was ready since last year, since the talk of B7 came about. I was just ready, you know what I'm saying? I was excited, you know, and I'm really happy for her. I really am. And um, when she even started like noticing my videos and posts and stuff on my page, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Even just like random posts of me doing my own thing um, and her just liking the video, talking about, you know, LOL. I'm like, word? Like, that was just great. But anyway, B7, if you haven't listened to it, what the hell are you doing? Okay? I've replayed this about quite a few times. The album. Not just a couple of songs, but the album as a whole. And, um, um, oh, Bye Bye Polar. That's the last song on the album, like, um, you know, just hearing what, you know, pretty much she was going through in her life. I just wanted to give her a hug, so I'm going to just send her an air hug real quick. Let's all just send her a hug through the, through the, you know, through this internet here, okay? Love you, B. Love you. Love you. With a uh, L-U-H. Love you, B. You are, you are loved very much. You are truly music. To my ears like seriously ever since ever since excuse me ever since i was a child a young child in the car with my madre um because she was the one who put me on to brandy like even my mother is excited and happy for her and um she really liked the video borderline because you know i let her check it out and stuff you know so but I'm just excited. I, I really I really enjoyed listening to this 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 masterpiece right here. And some of y'all, okay, some of y'all, some of y'all need to really understand what real R and B is. Y'all think really really this shit. Twenty one with no kid. That's not no R and B. And listen, I listen to Jacquees, but you see, for me R and B like my favorite R and B singers. That are still out. Brandy, number one. Usher. Usher, baby. Shout out to Usher. Um, newer artists, Ro James and Luke James. That's their their music. That's some R&B shit to me. Like, that's what you call R&B right there. Like, some of y'all got to open y'all ears. Okay? And y'all minds to what music is. Like, especially when it comes to R&B. Because y'all think, you know, talking about some... Da -da -da, fucking fucking. That's not what it's all about, people. Sit your ass down. But anyway, you guys, long story short, I enjoyed the album. Love Brandy. Okay, shout out to all of us stars and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Brandy gang, all that. <sighs> B7, finally here. It was great. Well worth the wait once again. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Hit the like button. And matter of fact, y'all comment your favorite song or songs on this album go ahead on this this right here comment your favorite songs on the album go go right ahead go right ahead write the hell ahead in the comment section and uh since this is primarily a reaction channel if y'all want me to check out some other stuff y'all let me know in the comment section below and don't y'all trip don't y'all worry um i will be checking out some more madness videos all right very very soon so just hold on just wait on it that's coming soon and uh once again y'all let me know what's y'all favorite songs on the b7 album okay let me know your thoughts on the album as a whole let me know and be sure to hit that subscribe button follow me on my instagram hit that notification bell and uh follow my twitter taylor underscore rain x brand new twitter account go ahead and do that right now y'all can send me some videos there too we can check them on out but uh once again you guys this was just, this, hold on let me, i gotta hold it up to talk about it B7 is here. This is a masterpiece. This will be in my vehicle. I hold on. This will be in my vehicle. Repeat. Once again, y'all, thank you all for watching. See y'all in the next one. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.